Hi, I'll show you how to create a bill of materials using Altium Designer. It's really easy to do this in Altium, so have your schematic open. Make sure all of your parts have the right information in them. Okay, then once you do that, you want to go to your reports, bill of materials, and then look at these columns here. First of all, let's look at the variance drop down. If you have certain variants for your schematic, you want to choose the right one. Next, once you've chosen your proper variant, let's take a look at the preview. You want to have Excel installed on your machine already in order to pull up that preview. And it's looking nice. We have our comments and information filled in. But you know, while I do have manufacturer and manufacturer part number, I want to get my suppliers too. So let's go to the columns under properties here, under the property section, choose columns. Scroll down to supplier one. Now, where do you get the supplier one information from? This really kind of comes from the server. If you have a server account or whatever, it's free. Then you would, uh, you would associate supplier part information to your part. All right, so we click on the eye to make that visible. Once we do that, the column becomes visible for that property. See, supplier one is DigiKey. Supplier part number is the next thing I want. Now I can add more things like say, supplier currency, it's gonna be US, supplier unit price maybe, let's take a look. Okay, that's not in there. I'll just hide that. Now that I know what suppliers are here and the supplier part numbers, along with the manufacturer and manufacturer part numbers, I can go back to general. And let's see, my currency will be in USD since I'm the US. Supply chain data, I will use a cached thing. And for my file format, I'll use Microsoft Excel that's the XLS extension. Now for my template, hmm, maybe I'll go with bomb template, a local bomb template, single supplier. I can add this to my project and open the exported file. Let's go ahead and click export. This is the bill of materials and I'll just name it bomb. Hit enter. It should open up automatically after it's done exporting the file and creating an out job. Here we have manufacturer. Okay, so manufacturer should be the name of the property in order for that to get filled in. All right. But we do get supplier and supplier part number. Okay. Not bad. You want to use the exact property names depending on the template you're using in order for the fields to be filled in here. So um, choose a template, stick with it, and then you'll get a nice format. If you don't choose a template, that's fine too. You know, um, that's perfectly fine. Let's see, if I use a Hasofu template, let's see if uh, mine, if I set up my template correctly. Okay, it's modified as well. All right, so that is how you create a bill of materials in Altium Designer.